Gallagher here. If you want to grow your channel quick and easy, subscribe and smash that notification bell because I share with you all the tips, tricks, and strategies that I use to grow this dead channel from zero to thousands of subscribers and became a YouTube partner in just a matter of months. What's happening? So in this video, we're going to cover a new tab vidIQ has just added and how we can use this tab to increase views and subscribers using a concept I talked about a while ago called milestone videos. So previously I have mentioned this method of using your channel's achievements or milestones as video topics. Even if you're not in the how to grow on YouTube niche, learning how to grow on YouTube is a popular topic and many of your viewers and subscribers are going to also be interested in growing on YouTube themselves. I mean imagine if you're in the gaming niche, how many of your viewers and subscribers are also trying to grow a gaming channel? So it's very beneficial for you to do these types of videos periodically. Plus, by doing milestone videos, you can get your content in front of a lot of new viewers and potentially gain even more subscribers than you would have if you only did car videos or gaming videos or whatever videos you are currently doing that only relate to your niche. And if you look at my channel, you'll see I do these milestone videos on a regular basis, meaning videos on how to get a thousand subscribers, how to get 120 views an hour, and so on. And so once I achieve a certain level of success on YouTube, I do a video on it and it works out well so as I mentioned I pointed this method out a while ago but in that video I covered how you can use TubeBuddy for ideas and inspiration so if we look up here here's the TubeBuddy icon you click on that and then right here you have the milestones tab so basically it just shows you your most recent achievements and it gives you a nice little certificate if you want you can click on that and open it up gives you the date so you can see uh, just uh, four days ago I achieved 19,000 subscribers and in a couple days from now I'll be at 20 so I'll have another certificate from them and then it'll tell you your upcoming milestones and basically there's three that they give you subscribers views and uploads well now you can do virtually the same thing even better in my opinion using vidIQ's new achievements tab and here's all their tabs you can find over here on the left side if you have vidIQ installed as an extension. So let's click on it and see what happens. So here it gives you a similar format as TubeBuddy, only I think they do a better job and it gives you more information. So it's telling me right now my biggest milestone I'm currently approaching is this 20,000 subscribers milestone. I'll achieve that in about a day or two as it's indicating here. And where TubeBuddy only gave you three milestones, those being again subscribers, views, and uploads, you can see here vidIQ gives you six Six, subscribers, views, uploads, and likes, comments, and watch hours. Not only does it give you the date you achieve those on, it gives you a projection for when you'll achieve your next milestone. So here, so here it's showing me I achieved 17,500 subscribers a couple weeks ago, and now within the next couple days, again, I'll be at 20,000 subscribers. I achieved a million views on December 5th. It's showing me that I've achieved 30,000 likes, 90,000 comments, and 40,000 watch hours. So right now, if you don't have an idea for a video, well, here's six ideas you can use. You just come in here, see what you've achieved, and then do a video on how you achieved it. And then, of course, you can open it up and see your certificate, which is very nice, look at that. And if we go back here, you scroll down here, and it's gonna give you last month's achievements. So uh, almost 4,000 subscribers, 260,000 views, 7.6 thousand likes, 17 uploads, almost 9,000 watch hours, and 26,000 comments last month. And then it shows you where you are on pace for this month and compared to last month. So it gives you a little motivation to beat your old scores from the previous month. And the best part is it's free. You don't have to be a paid member of vidIQ. You can just download the extension. I'll put a link in the description if you want to do that and check this tab out. And the other neat thing is vidIQ is advising that this is just the start. They are already working on updates and ways to improve this. So look forward to that. And so I hope it helps you out. With that said, I'm going to wrap this up and I will see you in the next video.